Hello friend, I am Madan Kumar Jha and in this video I am going to made a schematic of a two input NOR gate and two input OR gate on cadence purchase so, so before uh, creating a schematic I am going to tell what is the logic of a two input NOR gate so y is equal to a plus p bar is the output of a two input nor gate so i have to uh, take uh, two input a and b and i have to see the output y of that two input okay so go to file then in new create a cell view so in cadence tutorial i am going to create two input nor gate so n nor to input okay then click on okay so this is the workspace of cadence now go to file no so now i have to make the schematic so press i for instance go to gpdk library so gpdk 180 for in gpdk 180 you will find nmos and pmos so i am going to select pmos so this is the pmos the width the width of the pmos is 2 micrometer i am not going to change it then hide this so in to input nor gate the pmos is connected in series and the nmos is connected in parallel so again press i go to instance and then type nmos in cell and this is the symbol of nmos and i'm going to hide it okay then using w i'm going to join the drain of this pmos with the source of this pmos and uh, the drain of both nmos will be connected with each other and source of both nmos will be connected with each other now <coughs> the body of the nmos will be connected with ground so I am going to connect it with source because source of the NMOS is connected with ground. Now this drain of the PMOS should be connected with the drain of the NMOS and it the output Y should be connected here. So I am going to create a pin which is output and its name is Y. Then using W connect this pin okay now I have to give a voltage source VDC to the source of the PMOS so in GPDK in analog library I will find the DC voltage because the DC voltage is analog quantity because it can range from 0 to anything 0 to 1.8 or anything okay so VDC this is DC voltage source the DC voltage should be 1.8 for 180 nanometer technology I'm going to press it here then go to analog library type ground in cell and uh, then select this ground here and this ground should be connected here also now the top of this pmos should be connected with this that is source should be connected with this positive terminal so i am using vdt for that okay now connect it here using w i am connect I can connect this source with this VDD and the bulk of the PMOS should be connected with 
the VTT or source so I am going to connect it now the bulk of this PMOS should connect it with this VTT okay now I have to create two pin which is input type so this is input pin I am going to give its name as A and B okay so one pin name is A another should be B so again press P create a pin which is input type and type B as its name now join this pin with the get of this PMOS and the get of any one of this NMOS okay and join the this pin with the get of this PMOS and this NMOS okay I can drag it here I can drag it here and also I can drag it oh, oh sorry I should not use this okay now everything is fine click on check and save if there will be any error it will reflect here but there is no errors you can see now go to virtue so now I have to give the pulse voltage to this A and B so press I go to B pulse B pulse and then click on OK set this voltage 1 to 1.8 volt and the period to 10 nanosecond the pulse width should be 5 nanosecond then hide this I'm going to use this here and this two here now press C then copy this ground and connect the negative terminal of B pulse with ground again copy this connect it with here I have to drag it just below because it can be connected with ground so press W again connect the B2 with this gate and B1 with this actually I have used the same voltage source here so in output section it will be difficult to find the difference so between this and this so I am going to change its period to 20 nanosecond and its period to 10 nanosecond okay now click on okay everything is fine check and save then go to launch in ADEL right click here go to edit then in setup time type here 100 nanosecond then moderate ok then in output section go to edit from design copy this A B and Y terminal ok then press ok go to setup in model library you should check whether gpdk 180 is enabled or every other so i have changed this all i have unchecked this all and only the gpdk 180 technology node is selected then check and save then run this simulation after simulating its transient analysis you will find this output so when input a and b is 0 output is 1 because 0 plus 0 is 0 and invert of 0 is 1 I think it 
will not be visible clearly so I'm going to width medium and the style should be solid okay now the when both with zero output is one because zero plus zero is one when any of a and b will be one then output is zero because one plus zero is one so the invert of one is zero so only in the case of a and b will be zero then this nor gate will give output one in all other case it will give output zero okay so one can ask why this spikes come every time okay so it should not come okay but you can see here in a and b signal in b signal there are some rise time and i don't know why it occurs because i did not given any kind of rise time here i think once i should check in b press q b 29 second i haven't give any rise or fall time so it should not occur but uh, by default or due to some glitches it might be possible that it occurs so in this range the signal a immediately changed to zero but signal b change to one in some times so it haven't detect this change immediately due to this this spikes have come okay so no need to worry about that just you should check the output okay so this nor gate is working fine now I am going to simulate and I am going to make the two input OR gate from this NOR gate so delete this wire if I will use one inverter here then it will work fine ok so I am going to use one inverter here so uh, I can use one inverter either I can instance the inverter which I have made in earlier video or I can create one inverter here also so for your convenience I am going to create again the inverter so in GPDK 180 nanometer technology library uh, type PMOS okay not MPMOS it should be PMOS okay so PMOS then drag it here one and MOS is also required so you no need to instance it always you can copy it from here so press C then copy it actually it is PMOS I do not require PMOS okay so press escape press C then copy this NMOS ok now it's ok using W I am going to uh, connect the both drain and gate terminal of NMOS and PMOS together ok then this is the output so using W I am going to connect the output of this with the gate of this so this will invert the output of this actually this is to input NOR gate and when I use an inverter it will invert this output so it will give to input or gate ok then again copy this ground C use it here press drag it below ok press W and connect this escape then again drag this BDD copy is copy this BDD then connect this BDD with this source source of PMOS then connect the bulk of the PMOS with the BDD again okay 
it is mandatory to minimize the body effect and latch up phenomena then create the output y with this net then check and save again and go to ADEL and run this simulation now it will invert the previous output signal now you can see when a, is, a and b is 0 ok let me bold it type solid style solid so you can see when the both a and b is 0 then 0 plus 0 is 0 any of a and b is 1 then it is 1 because 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 1 then 0 plus 0 is 0 so when any of the a or b is logic high the output will be logic high and if any of if both will be 0 then output will be logic 0 ok so fine this is the schematic and the output of the two input nor and or gate so thank you for watching my videos